Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best, and you're looking at our new, to me, new to my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., new to ourselves, Chevy truck, 80, 1985 Chevy Silverado truck. We just bought it here a few weeks ago, and the guy I bought it from uh, done some work for me on it because he does that type of work in his spare time. This was his personal vehicle. He didn't want to sell the truck, but uh, we kind of talked him into it, I guess. However, however you want to look at it, but here it is. Uh, we went, just got back from putting, I got some antique plates for it and uh, Haggerty car insurance. So we're just kind of, just now, I, I finally drove it for the first time. If you've seen that video, it was the first one I put up. On the, or, well, just go back in my video history. Sometimes I get mixed up on my videos and I post something before <laughs> I lose my mind. Anyway, here it is. Nothing special about the truck. It's a 350. Uh, I'm assuming 350 Turbo. It's a 1985. Let's see. I had the key somewhere. I was going to... I wonder what in the world I've done with the key. See? Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, I went and got some keys made because I'm awful bad about. I'm awful bad about locking the doors or whatever and leaving the key in. I've done that several times. Quite embarrassing, but here it is. It's a. Uh, I had him put new, new dual exhaust on it. It's got new tires on it. They're about, uh, I don't know, a month, six weeks, whatever, old. I'm trying to say there's not hardly any miles on it. It was born silver. My wife was wanting me to stop and get tips while we were out of chrome tips. We like chrome tips. Some people don't. Some people do. We do. So, yeah. It's got dual tanks. I don't know if this side works. There's a switch in here. And I have not messed with it. I just I just had enough money to fill up the one on the driver's side. That's the one he said that he'd been putting gas in. So I don't know. But this tent has got to come off. It is horrible. My wife, my wife will probably do that. She is anxious to get on this truck. My buddy that owned this truck, he said, uh, he called and said the truck is ready. And my wife started hollering. She said, oh boy, it's time to go get that truck. So she's very anxious to get started on this truck. Uh, I, I guess I should pop the hood. I meant to do that while I was here before. But I get sidetracked. The AC works. I think it needs a little more free on though. And I'm trying to find the original uh, old bumper jack for this thing. I don't know who, where I can find one at. I guess I'll try eBay Motors. Every time I go to the junkyard, they're already gone. And it's this time of year that you don't want to go to the junkyard because of snakes and waspers and ticks. So uh, anyway, he put fixed the power steering hose on it uh you know i'm going to get a few things done to it i'd like to get the motor detailed and stuff he pre he pressure washed it but it still needs some work up and under here as far as making it look a little bit better uh i'm real you know why i said it was a 350 i think it's a 305 5.0 so it's a 305 no big deal i like 305s just as well a lot of people prefer a 350, but actually, I can't tell no difference. So, it's fine with me. Dang, I meant to leave the hood open. I always, uh... I always put, uh... 
lube. I'm trying to remember where I said it. Might as well do the doors while I'm at it. Always put lube on everything. Let's see if I can get this in here without making a huge mess. I might have to do this after the video's over. I already had the stuff out here. This thing ain't wanting to spray very well, is it? Nope, it is definitely not. Maybe that'll be good enough for now. No matter what can, I've got a bunch of these cans of uh, blaster. This is called Fabulous Blaster. It's not PB Blaster. I just now noticed that. But uh, it'll work for now. But uh, I've got a bunch of these cans, and every time I pick one up, it's always the one that doesn't, <laughs> doesn't want to spray good. So... But there's still enough in this can to, it's not worth it. I can't throw it away. Anyway, uh, let's pray some in the door hinges here. I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm just trying to, I'm one of those kind of guys, if I don't do it when I say it, then uh, I kind of forget. And I try to keep off, I try to keep everything that I have in the best of shape that I possibly can. So... I'll do the door latches here in just a few minutes after this video is over. But anyway, this is the truck. Uh, I'm real proud to have it. And uh, I think it's going to be a good truck. It's got a lot of, like I said, the air works, but just I think it needs another can of Freon or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to take it over to uh, Brian's. And let him kind of check it out. I had the oil changed, this, that, and the other on it at my buddy's place. But uh, he works at a business. Dang, this truck's been sitting a while, hadn't it? Because there's a big old wasp nest. Glad I seen that. Not that it matters, but yeah. So uh, it's got power door locks. They work. Power windows. They work. When I first bought the truck, they didn't. So part of the agreement was when I got the truck, he would fix the windows, this, that, and the other. But I, this tent has, this tent is awful, isn't it? It's got to go. And uh, I might do something about the carpet. The seat's fine. I, I have no problems with the seat. There's no rips or anything. A couple of stains. I'll see if Mrs. P.I.B., my wife, can get, get that out. I uh, might do something with the carpet. Not really sure at this point. I need a new... Uh, well, the headliner's ripped. Some things don't bother me a whole lot, but I need to get a new sun visor there. Uh, blue. It's blue or black. Either color would be fine with me, actually. So, I um, told him to keep me in mind for a paint job. These pieces here that you see that are kind of curved go back here. They fasten back here, on here. Then you put the new chrome uh, stick-on uh, side molding trim. I had him take that off. If you watched the earlier videos, that was that stuff was already coming off anyway. Kind of curled up and stuff on the ends. The story on the truck I was told was that this truck uh, belonged to a man that laid tile. Yeah, laid tile. And I've never met the man, but uh. He's an older gentleman, of course I am too, but he's an older gentleman, gentleman, excuse me, that was wanting to retire and he could, he couldn't retire because everybody kept calling him. He must be really good at his trade. So, uh, he got it, uh, he owned the truck and everybody kept calling him the lay tile. Well, he, he finally told my friend that bought this truck, he said, I'm going to sell you this truck, he said, because... That way I can actually retire. He said, I can't go to work if I don't have a truck. So that's what he did. So uh, that's how my friend got it. And then he didn't want to sell it. But I guess my wife and I kind of persuaded him to sell it. You know, we just sold that uh, blue and silver one that we had. And uh, this one here is really solid. I mean, I can't find... Oh, I was trying to tell you, I, I kind of skip around, guys, and I apologize. Uh, I, we're in line for a paint job, so it's going to be a little while. He's supposed to call me for a paint job. 
I don't know if I want to paint it or not, but I told him just go ahead and keep me in line for a paint job in case we decide to uh, paint the truck back back original. And I told him I said, you know, when you call, either either I will know that I'm going to paint it or not. But it's it's kind of stupid or silly if I put the order that pre-cut you know strips that I was talking about the chrome side molding is what I call it stick on it's kind of silly to stick that stuff on there if you're going to get a paint job so I mean I'll just wait and see what he says you know I, or see how much it's going to be to paint the truck uh, I, let's, let's crawl up and under I got on some old at my usual outfit my wife says camouflage but I like camouflage because I can do this right here and I still look just as good. <laughs> I still look just as good. You know, what I'm trying to show you is everything is solid up under here. I'm going to show you some things I can't see myself. I hope. Sorry about that, guys. I'm in the back of the truck now. And, uh,. I was wanting to show you how solid it is under here. Wheel wells look really good. I mean, it's a solid truck. I mean, it's got some surface rust, but I mean, there's no rust through or anything. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, GM1038 on YouTube, he told me that the guy that put the exhaust on to have him, I, I never met the guy, but he looks like he done a bang up job, doesn't it? Meaning good, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, Brian, GM1038, check out his YouTube channel. He told me to have him make the exhaust as high as he could with uh, going around the axle. So if you want to lower it, you can. So that might be in the cards. He painted all his well silver. You can see the silver where he sprayed. But, I mean, he sprayed all the welds. Those are good welds, too. I'm really impressed. Like I said, I've never met him. Let me see if I can get myself up from here. Oh. And we'll go to the other side. But, I mean, I'm looking at the truck. There's no rust through or anything. Here's the other tank that I haven't filled up yet. I don't know that I'll ever have any intentions of doing so. But... There it is. Let's look at this side, which you can't see much, but I'm going to show you things I cannot see. I'm just trying to show you the truck and how impressed my wife and I are. Okay. It's about the best I can do, guys. Oh, I got a bad shoulder and bad knees, and uh, it's kind of a oh hard for me to hard for me to get around. But my wife, Mrs. Pib, is anxious to get on this truck, wanting to give it a good wash job, take the tan off, and uh, of course I have to. I'm gonna have to respray these wheels, whether I paint the truck or not. Might just leave it patina style. It's got a good look, doesn't it? I mean, scuff it down, maybe. Spray some of it silver. Rattle can painting is what I do. And uh, if you're not familiar with, with my channel, Primer is best. But uh, give it a good wash job. And, uh, you know, if I do decide to uh, rattle can paint it, well, you know, I can, uh, you know, make it look the best I can. And, uh, and put uh, Penetrol on it. And it'll look good. I mean, it's got good patina right here, doesn't it? Could you imagine that with some Penetrol on it? If you're not familiar with Penetrol, I have lots of videos, and so does GM1038 on uh, YouTube. But uh, it's got a good look to it. Show you the top. Show you the inside of the bed here. It's not. It's not all beat up. I mean, I I can't at this point in time. I mean, I can't see any rust. Need to keep those drain holes clean though, don't I? 
I don't see any rust or any banging up, you know, big dents or anything. I just don't, I just don't see anything. Well, I take that back. Here's one. Right here. There's a dent right there. Can you see that? But, uh, I mean, I'm just looking at it right now. I don't, I don't really see nothing. Uh, that other tire, uh, center cap for this wheel is back here in the back. He told me he had it back there in the back. But, uh, I don't know. Here, here's where we kind of have a little bit of fun, I guess. I can, I can keep it like that. There's, this is like a blank canvas. This is going to be lots of fun this summer that when it gets warm weather and it's just around the corner. But, uh, dang, there's a wasper trying to get on me. Uh, I can lower the truck down, get me some uh, American Racing, my favorite wheels, that and Corvette rallies, well truck rallies too, but uh, put some 20 inch American Racing wheels with the gray spoke, man I think I'd look sharp on here, lower it down, you know, maybe have just a real, real slight rake to it, I think I'd look really good, or, you know, I can paint it and lower it with the gray spoke wheels, I think it'd be awesome. Or, you know, I could, uh, let's see, I could leave the truck, I could lower it and leave the truck rallies on it, or I can keep it the same height, and, you know, like I said, I can paint it, my wife and I uh, can rattle can paint it and leave patina on it. Oh, hey, she kind of snuck up behind me. Or, I mean, we can just paint it, we can just paint it and uh, put it, you know, put it back like it is. I, I need to get a new, uh. Air deflector, air down. This one's kind of seen seen better days. I'd like to get me some bumper guards, maybe you know, take the oh, take the headlight bezels and uh, grill and stuff out, and uh, you know, repaint them silver. There's a lot of things my wife and I can do to this truck to make it look better than it is. A good wash job, though, is definitely in order. So uh, it should be lots of fun, and maybe you might like to uh, stick around and see what what we do decide to do with it. I'm going to shampoo this seat. Oh, I said that in a video that you'd probably do something with the seat and take the tin off and stuff. I don't know. Maybe sometime. What do you think about this windshield? We're, we're going to replace it. Say it again. Oh, no. This is not the one I'm going to replace. I'm going to replace the one in the 2003. <laughs> this windshield's perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I didn't see that. But I don't know. Maybe we'll. Who knows? Ching, 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 ching. It'll buff out. Yeah, it'll buff out. Well, like I said, we're not going to fix every little thing on it because we don't on, have that much money. We don't have that much money. We're on a. You're a man on a budget. I'm a man on a budget, and truly, I mean, we're, we're just we're just like everybody's the, on a budget. Yeah, everybody's on a budget. Only our budget's a lot smaller than most everybody else. But I mean, like us, we have several trucks, and I mean, it's kind of hard to make sure everything is going as well as you'd like for it to go. I mean, you you want to do? If I just only had one truck, yeah, I mean, I could do all kinds of things. But when you got several, I mean, we're just kind of C10 and OBS truck addicts right uh, oh is this from i don't know from the dash oh i, I don't he smoothed it oh out. yeah he smoothed it oh yeah he put a uh, dash cover on it uh you got a brake pad too? yes i my wife is letting the cat out of the bag we've already got a we've already got a new brake pad for it uh parking new light lenses. park yeah parking light lenses tail light lenses mm -hmm. and um uh, and Four sets of keys. <laughs> four sets of keys. She knows I'm kind of like. If you ever like, buy a truck from us, you're going to get four sets of keys. At least four sets. At least. Yeah. If anybody ever buys a truck from me one of these days, remember to ask me because I'll forget. Ask me for all the keys that I have because we just spent a $26 on, on keys because that's cheaper than going to a locksmith or something. $26.27. Yeah, you need to put that in the glove box, probably. I'm saving receipts. Oh, okay. Well, the keys work, so I don't guess it needs to go in there. But anyway, oh yeah, I got to get a strap. There's a whole lot of things to do to this truck. And uh, give me your opinion on what you would do if it was yours. 
would you keep it the stock height? Would you lower it and put some American Racing 20 inch uh, gray spoke rallies on it? You know, 10s and 8s. We get them at Ronnie Tyler's in Madisonville, Tennessee. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, that's where I get all my wheels and tires from when I do buy some. But, or I mean, there's all kinds of opportunities here. It's like a blank canvas, and if I wake up during the middle of the night, I can think about what would I like to do next on this truck, right? Yes. So, it should be for a lot of fun, guys. I hope that you will subscribe and tune in. Maybe you'll like what we do or can give some input on the... You know, make suggestions, whatever. Oh, but uh, a name. Oh yeah, a name. We'll, we'll we'll do a name after we after we give it a wash job, I guess, or I don't know. We'll we'll have another video on that. We'll see what happens, but maybe when we give it a wash job, we can come up. Uh, let we'll let you guys that are subscribers to my channel come up with a name for this truck. We always name our trucks. If you've watched my channel, every car and truck we've ever had. We've always put a name on it because maybe we're nutty, but we just like names. It kind of, kind of makes you feel like they have a personality, a life of their own. So, yeah. Let us know what you think. You're watching Primer at his best on YouTube. I sure do hope you'll subscribe and help us. Maybe we can all build this truck together. If y'all want to send me tons of money, we'll just do what... <laughs> Yeah, maybe we can get a gallon of gas, five dollars. It just went up again here, so <sighs> that's life. But uh yeah, uh subscribe to the channel, Primate is Best. We're also on Facebook, Primate is Best, and Instagram Primate is Best. I appreciate y'all watching the video. I know it's quite long, but I was I mean I just got one opportunity the next time we fill with this truck it'll be changing. We'll be washing it. It'll never look this way again. So this is it. So yeah, hopefully better and better, says Mrs. P.I.B. She's anxious to get on it. God bless y'all. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, please like and subscribe. Say bye. bye. Catch y'all in the next one, guys. God bless y'all. The Lord is good. We are so blessed by the Lord. God bless y'all. See y'all later.